So a power is made up of a base. Let's look at the first one. In this case, it would be the number 2 and an exponent. So this would be read as 2 to the power of 3. And the base is the number that's being repeated, and the exponent tells you how many times you need to repeat the base. So here I have the number 2 ha written how many times? 3 times. Okay, repeated multiplication. So I'm multiplying 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, check your answers. These ones were simple. X, there's two X's, there's three A's and two B's. And then I have everything in brackets. So all of two X, oops, that should say to the power of three. Sorry, anyone notice that mistake there? There's three of these. Okay, and then, okay, now for this one, we have a two in front of a bracket. And then my repeated multiplication are the x's. So it's x to the power of 3 multiplied by 2. So I write 2x to the power of 3. There's no bracket, so the only thing that's the base for this one is the x. It's x to the power of 3 multiplied by 2. Straightforward. 1 over 4 to the power of 5. And then I have my negative 3, so I have to put that in brackets. All of that to the power of 4. Now, notice the difference between g and h. Where's the negative sign? Outside the bracket. And it's 3, just the 3, positive 3 to the power of 4, but there's a negative outside the bracket. OK, state the base and exponent. Make sure that when there is a bracket, it's all of this. So it's negative 5 is the base. But for c, there's no bracket, so just the number 5 is the base. What would the answer be to C if you were to evaluate this? What's negative? 5 squared. Yes? Negative uh, 25. Negative 25. Good. You're evaluating the 5 squared. 5 times 5 is 25. But then you need to make sure you put the negative in front of it. Okay? And for the last one, E, this is similar to what we just talked about. The power is x to the power of 4. It's x to the power of 4 multiplied by 3. There's no bracket there. Okay? Okay, so check your answers for number 4. Positive 16. 2 times 4 is 8. Negative 3 repeated multiplied by itself 4 times will result in a positive. And D, why is the answer negative instead of positive? Good. There's a negative before the 3, but it's not in a bracket. Perfect. Okay. And then check E, positive 1, negative 1, positive 1. Both of these are in brackets, so it's the negative is being multiplied by itself. And then for this one, this is very important. Some of you made a mistake on your last test. We have to evaluate 2 to the power of 3 before we multiply it by 3. So what's 2 to the power of 3? What's this? 2 times 2 times 2. Yes, Arcel? 8. 8. Good. What's 3 times 8? 24. Okay, so the first rule, rule number 1, when multiplying powers with the same base, this is very important, it only applies if the base is the same. If the base is the same, we add the exponents together. So we write the base. So I want you to add this in. Write the base. That's the first step. And then add the exponents. So if the base is the same, you just write down what the base is and then add the exponents. So this is just in symbols. My base is A, okay? And my exponents are M and N. So M plus N. That's just in symbols without numbers, okay? So I want you to check your answers for each of these. And again, very important that if there is a negative inside a bracket, the base is negative. For question E, you'll notice that you just saw the letter K. If there's no exponent, you have to assume that there's a 1. Good. Because the exponent tells you how many times you're writing the base. There's only 1K. So you have to remember to include 9 plus 3 plus 1, which is 13. Okay, so this should have been K to the power of 13, not K to the power of 12. Who got this one right? And then the last one, some of you were confused on Friday. Again, this is just in symbols. If you don't know the exponent, use the symbol. 
the base is 5, and the exponents would be whatever x is plus 2, just in symbols, okay, for that one? So, rule number 2, again, please make sure you underline when you're dividing powers with the same base. Rule number one was multiplying powers. The opposite of multiplication is division. The opposite of addition is subtraction. Okay, so here's what it looks like in symbols. And we just, again, add this into your, onto your paper, write the base, and then subtract the exponents. So if the base is the same, we write the base, and then we subtract 24 take away 6 is 18. Okay, again, if there's a negative, you must include brackets. Check your answers. And I'm going to go through number 7. When you have uh, two powers for the numerator, so look here. What this says is x to the power of 3 times x to the power of 7. What happens when you are multiplying powers? What do you do with the exponents when you're multiplying? So we're, we add them together. So we're going to simplify the numerator. x to the power of 3 times x to the power of 7 would be x to the power of 10. Then we divide it by x to the power of 4. Now what do we do with these exponents? Yes? Good. So first we have to add them, and then we're going to subtract because it's division. 10 take away 4 is 6. The answer is x to the power of 6. For question B now, we have to simplify the denominator. So same thing, 3 to the power of 5 times, remember when you see brackets, it means multiplication. What do I need to do with these exponents? Good. We add the exponents. 6 plus 5, 11. Now what do I need to do with the exponents? Good. Subtract the exponents. 12 take away 11 is 1. Can you write the answer like this, equals just 3? Yes. Okay, either one is acceptable. 3 to the power of 1 is the same as just writing the number 3. Okay, for the very last one, once again, m to the power of, I want everyone to make sure you write in the number 1. There's an invisible 1 there. 1 plus 9 is 4 plus 2 is, okay, this is one mark showing the first step, and then what's the final step? What do I do with the exponents? Subtract, so I'm left with m to the power of four. Okay, now to simplify a power of a power, a power of a power means that you're taking a power, so I'll give you an example here. Uh, two, well, let's say five to the power of two, and you're setting that to the power of something. So this would be read as five to the power of two, to the power of 3, okay? Now, when we have a power of a power, so we have two exponents, we multiply the exponents. So once again, write the base, write the base, and then multiply the exponents. Okay, so number 10 is simple. 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4. 3 times 4, 12. 7 times 4, 28. Once again, we have a negative, 9 times 7, 63. Negative 4 is my base. 13 times, what is that, 3, 39, okay? We have to simplify using all three rules. So we have, look here, x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 5 to the power of 3. You have to simplify your power of a power first. So x to the power of 5 to the power of 3 is what? x to the power of 15. Simplify your power of a power first. That's the first step, okay? Then we multiply it by x to the power of 2. So now what do I do with these two exponents? Arcel? We add them. 15 plus 2? 17. For question B, what's the first step? What's the first thing I need to simplify for question B? We need to simplify the power of the power. 4 times 2 is 8. And then we need to take a to the power of 8 and multiply it by a to the power of 5. And what do I do with these exponents now? Yes, add. 8 plus 5, 13. Okay, check your answers for all of these. C, 
We have two powers, power of a power. I have y to the power of 3 to the power of 3, 3 times 3. And then I have 2 times 4, 2 times 4. And then what do I do with the exponents, Dale? We add them. 9 plus 8 is 17. Please make sure, I want everyone to write in the number 1 right now, right here. When you don't see an exponent, you have to include to the power of 1. So we're going to multiply. You did this one, so what's the answer? So I do 7 times 2, 14, yep, plus 4, plus 1, 14 plus 4 plus 1 is 19. Okay. Now for question E and F, we have a numerator and a denominator. Always simplify each of them before you do your final step, which is division. So look here, we have 6 times 2 is 12, a to the power of 12 times a to the power of 5 divided by a to the power of 7. I still need to simplify my numerator, so I'm going to take 12 plus 5. What's 12 plus 5? And then I'm going to divide that by 7. What do I do with these exponents? Subtract. 17 take away 7 is 10. Okay, last one, 8 times 3 is 24, 2 times 4 is 8. And then I have my denominator, 3 times 7 is 21, and I'm multiplying that by x to the power of 1. Don't forget this invisible 1. To simplify the numerator, what do I do with these exponents? Jenna, add. Okay, because now this means x to the power of 24 times x to the power of 8. Add the exponents, x to the power of 32, divided by x to the power of 22. Don't forget to add the 1. And the final step, what do I do with the exponents? 20, 32 take away 22, I subtract and I get x to the power of 10. Okay, so this was just a summary of the three exponent rules and this is what your quiz will be on. If you didn't get, if you, if you didn't write this, I want you to copy it down. So rule number one is multiplying powers, number two is dividing powers, and number three is a power of a power. We have the three rules. Anything to the power of zero, just one more thing I want to talk about. If I have five to the power of zero, what will my answer be? One, okay? If I have negative two to the power of zero, is the answer gonna be negative one or just one? The answer is always positive 1. Anything to the power of 0 will always result in 1. And you can test this on your calculator, punch in any number, and put it to the power of 0.